Hello, I'm going to cover all the pairs that I'm trading now uh, for the in preparation for next week. Starting with the dollar, I'll go through everything one at a time and we'll leave the information in, in the description box below. Uh, as I've said before, right now the dollar and dollar pairs, most common popular dollar pairs, are not the best option in Forex. They've become rather choppy and somewhat confusing. There are a lot of other better pairs out there, New Zealand, Euro pairs that I mentioned and have gone over several times in the past. But I would start with the dollar as it's the main focus and there will be better moves to come. I still see it overall in larger wave 5. The issue has been the current breakdown from what I was sus suspecting is a three-wave move here. I'm looking at it as a larger three-wave correction for four overall. Now, the, there are two things I see at the moment. The ending diagonal possibility is terminated. So I'm still looking at three, two things. One is the possibility of a triangle for wave four. So this would look like a, B, C, D, E, and a move up, and that would be four and another high to come, probably some explosive high, who, who knows. Or what's probably more common, looking at the second part of this structure here, is a move down a bit lower, so you get a larger one, two, three correction like this to turn higher. So long as it doesn't intersect with this high here of wave one, the idea is valid. Now the structure overall looks like A, B, and now we're impulsing for C. So C will probably turn into five waves, which looks like it's underway because it's coming down in five. So you're looking at a corrective move for A. I'll go over this like this. There's a corrective move here for A. Three waves for B, and now you're looking at one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. So it would be an impulse for C, a five wave impulse for C. And then the resumption of the uptrend to a new high above 104, 105, or whatever the high is, 104x, 103x. So continuation of that move to another new high. The origin of this down move here in January is corrective. So I'm looking at this to resume up higher. Now to put this into play on popular dollar pairs, um, there's the triangle possibility here in euro dollar too, though it's probably more likely to see a continued move up. I don't have such an impulsive structure here, it's overlapping a lot, but I, I am looking higher in this still. Um, what's worth pointing out is that for the time being, since this up move here, like the dollar down move, this up move is choppy, so it's worth pointing out the direction of the overall trend. Like going back to 2008, it's been clear that the down side has had it. That has been in control. The down, uh, the bears have been in control. Um, just to go over the price look and the price movement, it, you want to be on the side of the impulse. So the impulse was here. The impulse was here. The impulse was here. The impulse was here, and the impulse was here. So the downside has had the impulses over the past two years, really over the past six to seven years. Sorry, eight to nine years, rather. Now the corrective moves have been on the other side. The corrective moves have been up. As you can see, chop here. There are hardly any moves up here. But this is corrective. This is corrective, this is corrective, and this so far is corrective. So I want to be positioned for a move down to continue the downtrend because right now I don't see a base in this, a bottom. I see only a corrective pattern, a larger corrective pattern because the start is choppy and corrective. You would need to impulse in five explosive waves to give a single um, larger, more significant impulse, which hasn't materialized. So for the time being, I'm looking for another up move in this, maybe a few more weeks, maybe one more week, I, I don't know, but looking for something higher in this, maybe it'll start to 
overlap even more and get choppy, but I think the triangle is less likely at this stage, so it is valid so long as the Jan high isn't broken. And we'll probably see some easier move now, how that, or higher, choppier move. Now, how that fits in here, because I was working this as a triangle, a what? Basically, two year triangle for A, B, C, D, and E to here, probably, also possibly here. Now, if I will have to recount the dx if this is the more bearish count, because right now, if E is here, you're looking at this being four waves overall, and it would have to not violate this, this area here, which is possible, because if it comes up to here, it won't quite violate there. So you would see one more low for wave five. However, if the E of the tri if E of the triangle is here, then this down move could be a leading diagonal for one of five, and this is just two of five, a long-winded three-wave correction. So if it does end, the, the point is to be on the side with the impulses, so down still in this pair. The question will be answered later whether this is four of five or whether this is just two of five, because if, if this is just wave one of five, this is wave two of five we'll see an explosive move down for three of five, which will go towards parity and probably eventually break parity, which is possible. As long as this low does, is not broken on the monthly chart, that is possible. So given how everything looks, I'm staying on the downside in euro dollar. It's just a question of how far we continue up because I don't have a start of an impulse here. So going to cable, I'm still looking at this at this structure as E of a triangle overall. We had the three-wave move down overall from the high, and we've been moving up. Uh, we're going to need everything in this triangle. If it is a triangle, everything inside it has been in three waves overall. So this current up move would we'll see a turn at some point and then another move up for three. So if that is E here, then we'll see a turnover. Though what I mentioned for weeks now is there is another possibility on this extending. It can easily come up to 128, 129, 130 or so to make a larger move where this would be A, B, and C has a one, two, three wave move. It's corrective overall. The pound uh, cable should continue down, just as most pound pairs I'm looking at. Pound New Zealand, pound Canadian will probably turn over overall. They all seem to be in wave four, and euro pound also looks like it's in wave four to go up. So either way, whether it terminates here around 124, 125 and rolls over, or we see a more explosive move up, it's still overall bearish. There's no bottom in in euro in cable yet, in my opinion. So the 8 EMA is up here at about 126. So it's certainly possible to see this terminate around 125 and turn over, but I would look for another gyration on this still, so it develops more into three waves overall. Brexit is probably not coming until the end of the month, so another 10 days or so. Who knows when it's going to be initiated, triggered, but um, it is coming. And the pound will obviously react to that, and everything is looking bearish for the pound still. So the pound is toast in the sh near term, middle term. In the long term, it will find some bottom somewhere, but probably way down below 120. I don't see any sign that this is bottoming yet. Okay, Aussie US dollar has, the plan has been going very well. This worked out, this worked out. This was, I, I didn't get any of this up, but I did find the structure before it reached the top with the ending diagonal a few weeks in advance. This was all fine. And now it's thrown a spanner in the works and I, I don't really know what's going on here. If you ask me what I feel in terms of um, gut reaction, I think this will go up. I think this will break the high. The move up has been too explosive. Looking at it on the daily, four hour rather, the up move, though it started looking choppy, it's been more explosive than the down move. 
and that can't happen really. Uh, a corrective wave, correcting five waves down, should be copy, uh, choppy. There can be an impulsive element in it, like a C wave, five wave impulse, like I was showing on the dollar, where you have a choppy A, choppy B, and then five waves for C. But that hasn't materialized, in my opinion. I mean, this A, B, and fast for C, yeah, maybe, but I, I don't think so. What I know so far is that my past experience suggests this is not working out. Now, I'm not going to switch to the bullish side just yet, because so long as this high remains valid, so does the five wave down move. And the larger termination point is the November high, as it would invalidate the view of the triangle. Now, if we do break the high, I'm not at the moment sure how to label this. I mentioned in the video a few days ago that if this is broken to the upside, which it looks like it will be, also the stochastics have not reached the 80 line yet, which is usually a minimum target on a single move. You'll see me go over this on US Canadian too on the monthly. So if we do go up, I am looking for a bit of a bigger break, not just above the April 2016 high, I will be looking for a move towards 0.85, basically. Somewhere here, probably not violating this low, but a bit higher into the eights. So that's the view. The, the good trades on this pair have gone for now. It's looking bullish in my view. I mentioned the termination points, two of them here in November. If you see some kind of like corrective move, it'll be a buy to go up. It's pretty easy. Breakouts are easy. Anyone who charges you for to learn how to trade breakouts like this is ripping you off. Don't pay for it. It's the most basic thing in trading. New Zealand, US dollar. I've been working a continued down move for this. I mean, it's obvious it has been channeling with a few violation points, which are no big deals. I still like the downside on, on this. The New Zealand dollar has been the cheapest, um, weakest rather, currency in the world. And if this is a three-wave move for W of larger Y, I mean like this overall was three, 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 three of insane chop, three. Okay, this would be W. We'll see a bit of a higher move for X and then a big move down for Y overall. So you would get larger Y way down here into the low sixes. I, unlike Aussie US dollar, I don't have a bigger view picture on this. I don't see this continuing up into the mid sevens, for example, or above. Now I'm looking for this to chop maybe to seven two, seven one, seven two, seven three even. And to turn over so I'm looking at this still as bearish and I'll be looking to sell into it if it does move up something would have to change significantly to see this higher in my view that's not to say it's impossible of course it can happen but I'm staying on the bear side I will just stay out of this if it's bullish there would have to be some like clear bull flag to get into I mean this looks like it could be flagging here like for example, if we're gonna see a continue move up, we've had three waves here. We might be looking at three waves down more and then a turn up for another move. I would get into that, yes. If I see a clear structure, I would be happy to buy that to get into. Um, so I will be observant for that for a couple hundred points higher, but right now I'm maintaining the bearish view overall in this pair. Okay, US Canadian dollar. I've been over this many times. I'll go over it if you haven't seen it, if you care about it, or just to reiterate for myself that since the 1212 count down here was broken, I'm looking higher for this and I'm still looking higher. There is a view that the Y, the labeled Y here, is a high and there's five waves down and three waves up, but I don't like this view. I'm still looking higher for this pair for um, Z overall. I mean, the whole thing, you can label it as one, two, three, but I am looking above 136, 138 overall for W, X, Y, X, Z pattern overall into the 138, 618 level 
in a rapid turnover based on the stochastics which have stalled out here in the point down. Now, looking at the move down here so far on the daily, I'm looking at this as an X wave to hold. Maybe there's another gyration down and then to turn up higher, but it's frankly done enough so far. The down move overall in US Canadian dollar from 9 March has been corrective. This is three waves. This is three waves. And now we have a one, two, three, four, five wave move overall. So that's enough for X. Now, if it wants to do another swing down, it can. Of course, it can do whatever it wants, but right now I'm saying that this has enough for X and we move higher too. It's very easy to draw a bear flag on this, something like this. Any break here is a sell point that's totally valid and it may work out well. It's an easy sell to make. However, I'm still looking higher for the time being. It would have to really collapse here for me to start to use this move down as the first impulse. It can be done, but you would have to then use this as the first part of the correction, this is the second, and here you would have five swings overall in this section. For what you would have to stretch it actually, force it. So I'm sticking with the simple side now. I am looking higher in this pair still. So the simple method is keep a bear flag on this. If it breaks, sell it. You need to know where your stop is and see if it see if the bears have it. But the price structure overall, this is only three waves up here. There's no five wave decline overall. So I like the continued higher move in this for the time being. Euro Canadian dollar, I mentioned a scenario a few days ago. I'm still looking at this as a possible flat overall for start to wave to start wave three of three. However, the sell-off has been corrective here. This this move here is corrective. And overall I can count it as seven waves as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's corrective overall. If, it is, if we do move higher, I'm going to use this as a leading diagonal towards 147. I'll be brief on this pair because I don't have a trade on it right now, but overall on the monthly picture, if you take it with a pinch of salt, you go back before 2000, before the initiation of the euro, you have three possible leading diagonals here for one, two, three. The number doesn't matter, but just to show that the mode, the price, constriction, the structure is valid as leading diagonal so long as there's no termination here above 151 or so if we do move up. And that would overall bring this in for a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 towards 1.2, which is what I'm still looking for. I don't have a more bullish scenario except to say that this could be the first part. This is like an X wave and we have another three wave move up, though I'm not looking for that now. If it happens, it will most likely happen without me. So I stay with the bears for now, look a bit higher in this pair, unless there's some breakdown here, which right now I don't have a play on because there's no kind of formation to break down and no printed impulse to break to um, buy into on correction of. Okay, New Zealand pairs. New Zealand pairs are the best. I'll start with my favorite, Aussie New Zealand. We seem to be one move away from finishing wave three of this move overall. A simple one, two, three, four, one more high. And that will finish, that will start to finish this segment. There's one here, two, three on a new high is what we need. Then we'll have four. The four is of this segment. So four and another high for five overall. And that will end this segment for three overall. We'll probably get up towards 1.2. And then we'll have a larger wave four because there's one, two, three eventually. Larger wave four and then a new five above this high, 1.4. And then we'll begin to ask the question, This is 1 or A, this is 2 or B, and then 1, 2, 3, ultimately 4, 5, and then we'll ask, is that C or is this 3? 
because it'll be a termination point or it'll be a massive bullish extension. Since this is five waves down here from 2011 to 2015, it will probably stay as a three wave move for A, B, and C, and then turn over and the New Zealand currency will be bullish again or Aussie bearish. Who knows, but um, right now it's probably a three wave move for N, A, B, and C, but it's been very good so far. I've been tracking this for months and uh, I've been over this in my first video about a month ago. I went over this in detail and I still do and I'm looking for higher still. And if we do see a new high for the end of wave three of, pardon me, for the end of wave five of this segment, we'll see a correction for wave four of overall this segment, wave four of this whole segment. And that will probably return to wave four of wave three. So you're looking at 1086 overall. So it's one, two, three up higher, most likely, four towards 1086, and then higher. But ultimately, it's bullish. It remains bullish. There is no bearish situation on this, no bearish scenario. Um, 1086, something like that, if we do see a turn once this wave completes. Euro New Zealand, very bullish. I've been over this for weeks. I was counting this. We have divergence, bullish divergence on here. So you have bearish price, bullish stochastics on a weekly time frame that is massively bullish. And the target on this is way up above 1.8. But for now, just to deal with the move, I mean, that's the picture overall, five wave impulse, massive three wave correction. And now, From the low, we've had one, two, three only. So we're looking higher in this. I started the videos around here, I think. So anyone watching from the beginning or anyone who wants to see from the beginning can see that I was bullish on this as it was coming down. And I wasn't sure on this. I was thinking this is choppy overall and looking like it might terminate 1.49, but it blasted through and has extended as things can always morph and mutate into extensions. So overall, wave one, wave two, I've marked this as three waves overall, so, pardon me, five waves for wave three, so it's one, two, three, and now we are in a corrective move for wave four. It could be a triangle. Well, it looks like five waves down here, actually. But it could be, we'll see, if it turns into a triangle, maybe something like that. Otherwise, a bigger correction overall. The target on this is towards 1.58, so it's still got legs to move. But um, for now, if it's a larger three-way move like this, it's possible. We don't know what, ty what type of correction it will put in place, but for now, it is correcting. I don't see this as failing to make five moves right now because it's broken out of the ending diagonal. I'm looking for a five wave impulse. I mean, the manner is like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, five, eight area. And then we're gonna see a larger three wave correction. And then blast off, something like that. Now, because it's divergence, weekly divergence that I pointed out, the, if we do make five waves eventually, which I think we will, the three-wave correction might be quite small. It might only come down back to like this area, to wave four of what, what might become wave four of the first impulse. Who knows, but um, I'm still looking higher in this. The correction is speculation for later. For now, it's correcting only three up, one, two, three. Also, I should mention that because this is, um, because of the weekly divergence, and which makes this extremely bullish, there is the possibility we're looking at a one, two, one, two. I, I'm not gonna favor this now, but like I said, things can mutate. So you're looking at one, two, one, two. And then it would be simply a series of sick and 
forceful wave threes going up, basically. I mean, a massive move. Forget about 158. That would simply bring us to 168. Because a series of one twos like this would be relentless. We would see 170 before the end of the year, or maybe by the end of the summer. So that is possible. You want to be in the long side on this pair as soon as it finds the end of this correction. Uh, but probably 158 is the first target. Okay, um, New Zealand Canadian. We've had a number of five wave moves down. It worked out, as I mentioned, that this is just a three wave correction and we sprung up from this. I think I mentioned it a couple days ago in the video. Now, overall, I like to count this as one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five to here. Three waves up, three waves down, and now an impulse for the third part. So maybe see towards 940 or so and turn over. However, if you force a count that this is actually the low, I suppose that might be possible or it may change. But for now, I'm looking at this as a small correction and a continued move down towards 9291. I put a possible channel on this, but it's just a possibility. If we do correct higher, I will still remain bearish on this pair. So for now, we've got five here, three up, five down. So we want to see three up, maybe the 940, maybe it'll mutate a bit higher, but it is bearish overall and weak. Um, this is a, I'm not quite sure how to deal with this from the high, except that it is bearish and uh, it may end up breaking 9.2 as New Zealand is a weak currency. I've been over this a bunch of times. What I would say is that from the high in November 2016, I'm looking at this as three waves overall. I don't really buy into the idea that this is some kind of five wave move, a leading diagonal or something. It's looking more like a series of threes, really. And so we would want to see a move below here overall to 9192 or something like this. And then I'll judge it from there, but the pair remains bearish overall. I don't want to spend too much time on this except to say that the five wave five waves are to the downside lately and three wave corrections are to the upside. But as as you if you're watching these videos what two weeks ago, three weeks ago when I had this channeling, the the bearish corrections can be explosive though, like this one. I had to adjust the count on that. So be cautious on this and just, just looking weak overall. Aussie Canadian, I just added this to my list of pairs that I'm looking at more closely. From the high, what does this look like in the monthly? How do you want to look at this? Three down, three up, and now we're in A, B, C. I've labeled it in a very simple way from the top. This is the high overall that you just saw in the last picture from 2012. It's obviously a three wave move down for A, three waves up, three down here, and I'm looking at this as the third part of B. So from the A low, it's A, B, C, three wave correction. I've got it right now as an ending diagonal. So maybe a few more weeks higher, and then a turnover. Now looking at this overall, these are all chop and threes. So you're looking at it could be like that, and we just continue straight up. However, it could just put in a more significant three here. So you're looking like this. I am bearish on this pair, I'm just not bearish here. Now we'll go into the daily. There is a narrowing, narrowing wedging price pattern on this on the daily. So we may see a turnover the next few days and next week and head down, and that would turn it into the bigger three picture I'm talking about. And then bearish above 104, 105 or so. I'm not viewing this as bearish right now. Hold on. 
I would prefer to see it higher. I don't have a view on this, that this is some kind of correction of this. You can make an argument that it is. That's not the one I'm favoring now, but because of the narrow, narrowing structure on this, I am going to be looking to sell this pair in the coming days. Let's see it exhaust itself. It's got a lot of divergence. Divergence here. Maybe see a hanging man or some kind of exhaustive candle or pattern towards 103 here. And it could be a good sell for a few hundred pips because, uh, I don't like that word, points rather. Something like this, and then maybe a move back up, but or maybe something more bearish. But it is looking pretty good for an end to this. Otherwise, maybe it just blows through this and carries on, which is fine for me because it, I'll, I'll be selling up here or trying, looking to sell rather for a big move down. I mean, that is a massive move down. Whether it goes straight there or it takes another eight weeks to materialize, who knows, but um, sometime, let me just see here, we're in March. So yeah, sometime in summer it may exhaust itself, otherwise it goes straight there in March and April, we'll see. But um, the overall pattern on this, just to point it out because there's a good trade coming, is three down, three up, and then an explosive C, probably a five wave C move, like I showed as an example on the dollar earlier today, for down below 9.1. So like a thousand points, well over a thousand point move. Okay, I'll deal with some pound pairs. I wanted to trade this, but it did not work out for me. Five waves, pardon me, three waves down into 2016. I've been trading this as four. Two scenarios. So look, a lot of pound pairs are in four. Cables in wave four. Pound New Zealand's in wave four, pound Canadian is in wave four. Two ways to look at this, same as on cable, A, B, C, D, E, and down, or to about 1.8, 1 1.83 to wave four of wave three, which is a normal retracement level, and then down. I mean, if you want to put a bib on this, there you go. So this wave four here would return to the 38.2 level. Okay, saw this. Thirty-eight two level of wave three. So thirty right here, one point eight seven. Massive move, entirely possible. If cable moves to one three oh, one two eight, pounds New Zealand can move to one eight seven. The normal retracement for four is to reach the previous four of wave three or the 382 level of wave three on retracement. My issue with this, you know, it sometimes happens when you're counting that you lose track of it. And I've lost track of this. I had this, I had this for B of the correction in wave C now, and I was doing okay here with this overall. I, have, I had slightly wrong count here, but it was obviously choppy and I was trying to buy it. I thought we would get another low, but it worked out. Now I've lost it here. I've lost it from this low. It, it's To me, it's looking choppy. To me, the triangle is the preferred view on this. So it exhausts itself somewhere here and rolls over. I'm just saying that anyone who is bullish on this has, their, has it open to 186, 187, or 183, 182. I mean, look at this. What is this? This is a sad state of corrective movement, really. Perfunctory, choppy, awkward, sideways. If you have a narrow stop, it'll kill you or kill your account. Um, if you want to make this a very traditional matter, there you go. I don't like channeling like that, but it's possible. The reason I don't like channeling is because as I showed in New Zealand Canadian, when I was channeling this WXY here, see the thing about channeling is it looks good when you've got it drawn, but there's no limits. The market doesn't have to marry your account. It doesn't have to marry your view, your 
barriers, your obstructive lines. Here, I had this channeling. I thought, all right, well, if it makes it up here, I've got the right pattern on it, three waves, three waves overall. That was before I drew in the triangle. But it blew right through that, though I remain bearish on it just because of the whole corrected structure. Now, this now reminds me of Aussie US dollar. And you can ask, well, okay, this started as three waves, and then it exploded up and turned over very hard. Can't Aussie US dollar do the same thing, where it starts off looking choppy, then it explodes up? Yes, it can. It's just that it's come up so high. I mean, this one, this one came up very high too. But the down move was impulsive. I mean, clearly impulsive. That was violent down. This is down too, but I mean, this looks comparatively choppy. I mean, it would have to turn over here. The violation point is clear in Aussie US dollar. It's just that it, it looks too strong. The weekly candle looks too strong. The stochastics, they're hanging on the 80 line, could easily turn up. So I see it as slightly different than New Zealand Canadian. The down move in Aussie US dollar can be counted as five, but it looks choppy. So anyway, the violation points are clear, but going back to Pound New Zealand overall, this is a sad, choppy state, however you want to deal with it. I wanted to get along. What can you do? It's looking like threes now. I just am treating this as a counting exercise. Maybe I'll get a grip on this. I mean, if you look at this as three waves, hold on. Something like, I'm not sure right now, I need to spend more time with it, but something like, I had this as A, three waves for B, and then this is the first part. I mean, this would turn it into WXY, but this is the first part, the second, and then this is seeing threes like this. So we go to 177, 178, and then turn over. I prefer that view. I just wanted to point out anyone who trades this or who was following me trading it earlier, has the view still open to 187 not in a US 187 manner, but just literally 1.87. Okay, hold on, I'll just figure out what to look at next. Okay, I'll come to that, I'll finish the pound pairs and then come back to this, come back to uh, Aussie New Zealand. So pound Canadian, This is another one I lost track of. I had a clear five wave impulse here, three wave correction to here, and then it got really choppy here. I don't know what the hell it's doing. All I can say at the moment, I mean, the, the target overall is wave four of wave three, the blue line here, 175, so it's possible. It's turning up on the weekly. It's entirely possible to move up here, and then I'll deal with it when it gets there. It is still possible to turn over. The issue is that it, it has not impulsed from the low here. That is the main issue. From this low here, it's not impulsing. It's all like, I, I don't know what this is. It's just some choppy mess. I, I can't trade this. I cannot trade this, but I can say where the limits are on this. The target is 175 overall for wave for um, higher wave four, uh, pardon me, for wave, what would be a correction of this five wave down move. Or it could also peter out here as a three wave move, something like, like that, that's possible too. I don't have a trade here, I've lost count of it. All the work I put in here has come to nothing and that happens, but what the hell can you do? It didn't amount to anything. At least some of the other pairs I was working on did, did work out. Okay, uh, Euro Australian dollar, corrective from the high. I mean, I am counting this larger pattern. Hold on. Going back to 2012, five waves up, three down. I'm using this as a triangle up, down for Y. It's been channeling. I still like the idea that this is going higher. 
I am right now working this as five completed, which actually I've had this count for a week or so now. So I'm forcing wave one as a leading diagonal in a sense like one, two, three, four, five. It's ugly, but I'm going to hold it for now. Five waves, five waves. So five waves up overall for one. This was a three wave correction. I thought we had an impulse here, but so far it's looking bearish. So if we can come down here and be a bit choppier, then we can see a continued move up. That would be my preferred view on this. So I will be looking to continue to buy this in the coming days. I'm going to leave it as five for now, rather than trying to for count this as a three-way move. To me, it looks good for five, so I'll be looking at a buy situation into one, three, eight or so. Simple approach on this. No BS. Put on the fibs. Find your level. As long as this is corrective overall, this is just three down. So we'll look a bit lower for this. There's overlap, a little bit of overlap there, maybe. So a bit lower on this. See if we can get a buy into it. OK, Euro pound looks good for a buy. I'm going to count this as I've altered the count on this. I mean, OK, two scenarios on this. I'm not going to go over everything. I was overall counting this. Uh, I actually haven't. I have to adjust this count. I was counting this as five before. Now I've changed it to three. There are two scenarios here. Judging this as wave three, we're looking at wave four to here, a leading diagonal for one, a correction for two. And now we've had five waves up for one of three, one, two, three, four, five. And this is corrective now. So any type of correction that holds this low will be a buy. It doesn't have to hold this channel here. As I mentioned, it can blow through and then turn around. Look for something corrective though, and uh, what I wanted to say about this, that's the bullish view. However, there's a bearish view on this, that we had a three-way move here. This could be A, and we could have a triangle here. So just be aware of this. If you're bullish, there's no point being blind bullish. So there will be there's three waves down for A here, and then the correction of a B wave triangle, A, B, C, D, E. So this high would not be violated. <clears throat> and then a move down overall for larger wave C towards point eight. That's not my preferred view. I think there are too many bullish things going on for this right now. Just want to point it out. So I'd be looking for a three-wave correction to buy into here, to go up higher. It should be pretty clear if this turns into a triangle. We'll see another move up that fails, and then a harder move down. I don't want to treat this as just as this down move being the third part of this move overall. So we have one, two, and then three down overall. I'm not going to deal with that now. And the best I can do in a correct manner is to call this a triangle, but it hasn't materialized yet, so I'm staying with the balls in this. OK, a few more pairs, the yen pairs, and then I'll deal with gold as the last thing again. I've lost count on this. It's kind of like pound New Zealand, pound Canadian. But what I would say is that this did turn out bearish as thought last weekend. So just a three wave move. So overall, I'll be looking at this as a deeper three wave correction and then another move higher. I'm not quite sure how to adjust this count at the moment. I can only say at the moment that it's bearish, and uh, I would try to formulate something on this in the coming days, but uh, at the moment it is bearish. 
at least to a bit lower. Now Euro Yen has become complicated as well. The stochastics on the weekly are still pointing down. We may also see a high end for this. I mean, this move did work out. This trade has been fine. We had five waves up here, three wave correction. I can count this as five waves too. The point is that this correction is overlapped with this. So it cannot be one, two, three, four, five. This Friday overlap has killed this idea. Actually, even Thursday killed this idea. So if you're bullish on this with the current count, maybe you can work something like an ending diagonal overall for higher. However, see again, I'm, I'm not sure how to deal with this now. It would have to be done here. Basically, three waves up for A, B, and I would have to alter this count so that this is five here. So it would be like one, two, one, two, three, four, five for three, four, and then five here for like a Ending diagonal, for example. So it'd be one, two, one, two, three, four, five for three, four, and then A, B, C. No, actually, that's probably not going to work out. So I have to try to formulate a new count on this right now. What I would say is that um, US, US dollar, Japanese yen clearly has a lower leg to make, in my opinion. This one is less clear now that it's broken. However, now that it's broken the wave one high, if it can continue to look corrective, there may be a buy in this for a move higher, like an ending diagonal, as I just mentioned, something like that. So if you're bullish on this, you can stay bullish on it. I just don't have a count on it. The move from here worked out. The current move is not clear to me, so I just step aside. There are too many other good pairs to trade, and I will move on from this now. Now the move, dollar yen is, uh, pardon me, gold is, there are a couple of scenarios I've been running in, in this. Wave one here, this is a five wave move in 2016. Three wave correction here, five for C. Now the issue here is that this is a move up that looks good for a continuation. So I like the idea that this sees a touch lower and then continues up. And then the question, if it does continue up like that, the question will be whether that's B overall or start of wave three. And if that's bearish, the two will move over here. So let me just go over that for clarity. We've had a three wave correction from the 2016 high, which was five waves up. So I mark that, say that's A. This overall will be a three wave move for B and then another move down for C, making that wave two overall. And then this current move up move would be A of B, B of B, C of B. Alternatively, I would still like to see one more low here, and then we could have a much more bullish view on this, which would be wave three. So there are two views open. I am looking higher in this for now. It's just a question if we come down more overall. This I can count as five waves right here. I've been over this in past videos, so I won't break it down again. And the up move from there looks like three waves overall. Here, here, and then one, two, three, four, maybe another high for five and a roll over. But if we do see, so this would be B, and we would look for another move down, and if that does materialize to here for C, I would like to get long this for a minimum 100 points, $100 up, basically. Um, I'll be surprised. It can happen, but I'll be surprised if it just continues up here. Because so far I only have one part down for the correction. I would really look for another part down, so it would be a three-wave correction overall. So at the moment, no trade. It's in the middle of nowhere. Look for one more low and then a move up overall. So that is the, so gold is bullish, even if just to another new high is bullish. It does have weekly resistance here off the trend line, 
but if it breaks through this and continues up, it is enormously bullish, hugely bullish, sickly bullish, and it would be a very, very good trade. It's going to be a very good trade, gold. Just a question if it blows through now or if it stalls here for wave B overall and comes down for another two, so long as it holds this low. It's bullish, it's very bullish. So um, anyone telling you gold going to 700 or does anyone still say that? Does gold still go to $700? I don't know, but I've been over this. It was okay to be bearish here, but the bullish support zone is here. So even if even if this, I don't, I don't think this 2015 December low will be broken, but even if it is, a move down below 1,000 is still bullish. Uh, thing anyway, in my view. Okay, so that's it. Um, good luck to everyone. If you have any questions, let me know, or if you want to point out any alternate views here or else, elsewhere, let me know. That's how I'm looking at things, and I hope we can all make some money off of this next week. The only point is to stick with the trend and to make money, not to stick to any particular count. I really don't care if the count alters or is proven wrong at some stage, like for example, Euro Yen. It started off well. I was looking at this as corrective. It went on longer than I expected, but it turned out well here. There was a good breakout trade here following a small five wave move, and that worked out very well. So as long as I can get a grasp on the direction through impulse and correction and establish something of a count to trade off of and a corrective pattern to buy into, then I don't really mind. I'm not here just to count. I would like to make money and do other things. So that is the view. And uh, if you'd like to share anything, let me know. And I wish everyone a good week. Bye-bye.